All right, guys. <laughs> Hear that screaming? Those are baboons. <laughs> guys, in this message, we're going to talk about the regeneration, the again genesis. Um, bear with me here. All these, see these dots? Those are all baboons in the, in the rock face. And I'm doing this at 4.30 in the morning because I want you guys to catch some of the sights and sounds of the jungle. <laughs> you can see there, you can see them walking around a little bit. They're very excitable. But guys, we're, I want to do this, this video this early so you could hear the forest because you'll see why as we get into the message. But this is as God is restoring all of creation because the, when the lamb opened the seal, it's the seal of all of creation. <laughs> Glory to his name. Now, you're going to hear these guys are very rambunctious throughout this video. But um, I just want to try and catch them a little, little footage for you. Okay, guys, sorry for the poor lighting here, but... Ugh. I like to just yell back at him, you know. <laughs> well, guys, just listen to the birds. Listen to the forest here. It's absolutely amazing. There are, if you can hear it, there are hundreds and hundreds of birds going off right now. It's totally crazy. Um, it's amazing here. But you have to get up early in the morning to, to hear this. So... Um, so guys, hopefully the, the light will come on as we get into this uh, message. But um, what it is I'm talking about is that everything in the book of Revelation from chapters 1 through basically 6 and a half have been fulfilled. One of the things that always intrigued me was the, um, the end part of chapter 5. And that is when the angels are singing and then all of the animals in heaven and the animals in the earth are also singing. I was like, when is this? When is this happening? Well, I suppose it is happening, but what we have to do is listen. Let's remember that John was on the Isle of Patmos when he had this vision. And, you know, I suppose we would have to listen to creation in order to hear what it's saying. So that's why I uh, like to go in the forest, and that's why I'm recording this message at the time I'm doing it, guys. So you can hear creation, you can hear the baboons, you can hear the birds. Uh, but let me read it to you, verse um, 11. I beheld and heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beast, and the elders, and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, saying with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power, riches, and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Then, verse 13, <laughs> listen to creation. Every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all of them heard I saying, blessing, honor, glory, and power be unto him that sits upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. So guys, this is clearly saying that every creature in heaven, every creature in the earth is talking. <laughs> Not only are they talking, they're singing. So that's why I wanted to do this where you can hear the birds singing. And maybe if you're quiet enough and you listen, you can actually understand what they're saying. Um, but guys, this, this has happened, but what it is, we have to listen. Now, uh, I'm going to go into this presentation, guys, and show you all, all of this. Some of you that are interested in this type of thing and animals, you know, you might find this really interesting. I've always found this stuff interesting. But uh, the title of the mess is going to be the, re the Regeneration. And uh, where I'm getting that word from is Matthew 19, verse 28. Verily I say unto you, you which have followed me, in the regeneration when the Son of Man will sit on his throne, also you shall sit. 
Now, regeneration there, if you look at the Greek, it's a combination of two words. One is palin, which means again, and the other is genesis, which is genesis, which is creation, okay? So, um, what the Lord is saying to the 12 disciples, they'll sit on 12 th thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel, which is New Jerusalem, okay? Now, uh, some of your uh, commentaries will say this is when he, the Lord creates a new heavens and a new earth. Well, it's actually not. It's actually Revelation chapter 5. Um, that's when all of creation is um, restored. Now, it's restored, guys, by the um, manifest sons of God. If we go to Romans 8, 19, for the earnest expectation of the creature waits for the manifestation of the sons of God. So the uh, manifestation there is apoc apocalypsis, which is apocalypse. Um, and the sons of God are those that are the apocalypse sons. And they will do things like restore creation. For the creature was subject unto vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him that subject the same hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage. So that means all of creation is delivered from bondage. Okay? And that's why they're singing. That's why they're rejoicing. Because the Lamb has opened the seal. The Lamb has, uh, has released the scroll of redemption. Um, unto the glorious liberty. Listen to this again. Let me quote it again. Uh, because the creature itself has also been delivered from the bondage of corruption unto the glorious liberty of the children of God. Glory to his name. So yes, um, thank, thank God he saved the humans. <laughs> <laughs> but he saved all things. He's restoring all things. He's restoring all of creation. For we know that the whole creation groans and travails in pain together until now. And not only they, but also ourselves, which have the first fruits on, of the Spirit. Even um, we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption. Uh, to wit, the redemption of our body. So we're waiting for the re redemption of our body, and God is even doing this. He's restoring uh, even our physical um, bodies to his, to a glorious state. Um, so glory to his name, guys. Um, all of creation is being restored. And guys, you can do this. Um, I'm doing this. Um, I'm not going to really get into the details of what I'm doing, but... I'm going to just tell you that the scriptures are being fulfilled. Now, Isaiah is fascinating um, because in the book of Isaiah, there are several songs about all of creation singing, okay, and rejoicing. Um, Isaiah 30, 29. And I'll put all these scripture verses in the description notes, guys. Um, but keep in mind, this is part of a series. I think it's part 19 in a series called The Lamb Reigns. And this is the um, beginning part of when the Lamb sits upon the throne, and I believe it's the Feast of 180 Days mentioned in Ruth, where, um, in fact, let me let me go there. Let me go there. I'm just going to take a moment to, to read you guys these scripture verses so you know uh, what it is that I'm talking about. This is review. These are things I've said before, but um, I know a lot of you forget what I say, and um, and some of you are new to the channel. But in Esther chapter 1, the king uh, sits upon the throne, and then he holds a feast. When, and um, here it is, verse 3. In the third year of his reign, when he made a feast unto all the princes, servants, power of Persia, and Meta, the nobles, the princes and provinces before him, when he showed his riches of his glorious kingdom, of his honor, of his excellent majesty, many days, even 180 days. Now here, uh, within this, we have a song, um, just like we saw in Revelation. Riches, glory, kingdom, honor, excellence, majesty, and power, many days. Um, those are seven things, just like we see in Revelation. We saw seven things. Um, so here we clearly see that the uh, multitude of angels singing relates to all the kings and uh, servants, the king's servants here. Now let's go back um, and go back to Isaiah. I'm sorry I'm jumping around here, guys, but I have a lot to cover in a short period. But these are the songs in Isaiah that relate to creation singing. And you shall have a song as in the night when a, 
when a, a holy um, solemnity is kept in gladness of heart, when one goes for a pipe to come to the mountain of the Lord, to the mighty one of Israel. Uh, Isaiah 42, 10 through 12. Sing unto the Lord a new song, his praise from the ends of the earth. You that go down to the sea, the fish, and all that is therein, and the isles and the inhabitants thereof. Let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice. Let the wilderness lift up their voice. And the villages that uh, Kedar does inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing. This is actually like the rock singing. And let them shout from the mountains, from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory unto God and declare his praise in the islands. Isaiah 44, 23 and 24. Sing, O you heavens, for the Lord has done it. Shout, you lower parts of the earth. Break forth into singing, you mountains, O forest, and every tree therein. For the Lord has redeemed Jacob and glorified himself in Israel. Now, guys, in another message, we talked about how the uh, Lord has redeemed Zion. And this is another verse that is also speaking about the same thing in Revelation 5. Okay? For the Lord has redeemed Jacob. He's glorified himself in Israel. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer, your Redeemer, he has formed you from the womb. I am the Lord that makes all things, that stretch forth the heavens above, that spreads abroad the earth by himself. Isaiah 49, uh, 13. Sing, O heavens, be joyful, O earth. Break forth into singing, O you mountains. For the Lord has comforted his people and will have mercy upon his afflicted. So guys, see, here we can clearly see these songs of literally mountains and in the forest singing. Uh, For you shall go out with joy, Isaiah 55, 12. Uh, you shall go out with joy and be led with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing <laughs> before you, and the trees of the field shall clap your hands. So glory to his name, all creation is singing. Um, and you'll even notice, guys, in some of the videos, you'll see things like the wind blowing and, you know, uh, the animals participating. Um, looks like the baboons left. But uh, anyway, uh, the other part of this message, guys, is the way you actually go about restoring creation is you have to remember God's covenant with Noah. God's covenant with Noah... He actually made a covenant with the animals as well. And there was, listen to the, those are baboons. Now that sounds terrible, like they're in terror, dreadful pain, but they actually just sound like that. Um, but the animals had fear placed on them with Noah's covenant, guys. And so what you do is you actually uh, remove the fear from the animals, you release peace, and there's actually something called the covenant of peace. Um, there's this expression, the covenant and the peace. Uh, the covenant of peace. Excuse me, I just woke up. It's so early in the morning. I'm having a little trouble here, guys. But um, but that covenant of peace is how you um, place peace with the animals. And uh, and Aluri just flew up. No, he just left. There's uh, something here um, called Aluri, which is an amazing bird here in South Africa, guys. Um, I was hoping that one would uh, come by. But... Uh, I want to uh, show you this covenant of peace, okay? Now, um, it mentions this in Numbers 25, 12. Behold, I give unto you my covenant of peace, and you shall have it, and you shall your seed after him, even the covenant of an ever everlasting priesthood, because he was zealous of God. Now, this is talking about the tribe of Levi. But as kings and priests of the Most High God, we also act as priests, and we act in this covenant of peace. Malachi 2, 4, that my covenant might be with Levi, says the Lord of hosts. My covenant was with him of life and peace, and I gave it unto him for the fear wherewith he feared me and was afraid before my name. And now let's actually look at the covenant of peace applied to animals. Ezekiel 34, 25, I will make with them a covenant in peace, and I will cause the evil beasts to cease out of the land, and they shall dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. So I sleep in the woods and I'm here in the animals and there's you know all kinds of things that could be hazardous. But I evoke the covenant of peace and I've never had any problems. They've never touched me, they, nothing. Um, it's complete peace when I'm out here, guys. 
um, Ezekiel 37, 25. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Moreover, I'll make a covenant with peace with them. And he shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will place with them and multiply them. And I will uh, set my sanctuary in the midst of them forever. My tabernacle also shall be with them. Yea, I'll be their God and they shall be my people. Job 5, 22 um, through 24. Neither shall you be afraid of the beasts of the earth, um, for you shall be in league with the stones of the field. So this is a covenant with the actual earth, the stones of the field, with the animals. It's a covenant, guys. Um, and the beasts of the field, is a co there's a league with the beasts. Um, and you shall be at peace with them. So you'll be at peace with them, and you can remove the curse from the animals, guys. So you shall know that, um, that your tabernacle shall be with peace, and you shall visit your habitation, and shall not sin. And Mark 16, 15 says, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. <laughs> so that's what we do. We preach the gospel, and we release the curse and the blessing of the good news of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to all creation. Because they listen a lot better than the humans. <laughs> um, but guys, that's what I wanted to share with you. Um, I have a lot more on this topic. But I wanted to do this. You can see the um, now it's the sun is coming up. You might see me clearly. But the birds, you can see them starting to get a little quieter. Because it's right when the sun comes on, right at dawn, that this forest comes alive. Hundreds of birds. And uh, this morning I had the baboons across the way. So, uh, so anyway, guys, um, I just wanted to share that with you. This is part of the series, The Lamb Reigns, The Lamb Reigns, 1,260 Days. And uh, I hope you find this a blessing. Um, read the notes in the description field of all these scripture verses. And guys, you'll notice this. You'll notice if you evoke this covenant of peace, you evoke this uh, part of the scroll that the Lamb has opened, you'll notice things like, birds will be signs for you and um you'll notice things with the animals will be signs you'll be praying and they'll they'll participate they'll recognize you as a manifest son okay and that you can be um uh, part of creation working together with creation and restoring all things unto the coming of the son of man in the clouds to the lord uh, be all the honor glory and blessing and power let me read it again uh revelations uh, 5 12 saying with a loud voice worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power riches wisdom strength honor and glory and blessing and every creature which is in heaven and in the earth and under the earth and such as in the sea and all that were there am i heard saying blessing honor glory and power be unto him who sits upon the throne and unto the lamb forever amen